So iPad mini lovers out there, I have some great news and some not so great news because we have a leak that could be suggesting the redesign we've been wanting is actually happening, but it might be happening a little later than we initially thought and it might launch towards the end of this year instead. So yes, quite a lot of conflicting emotions there because I'm happy about the redesign, but I'm not so happy about waiting. So yeah, let's delve into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Be a part of the Butterfication Squad. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so this leak comes from Duan Ri, a Twitter account that basically curates all the leaks he finds on Chinese sites like Weibo. And this leak is a spicy one, okay? It's so hot, I can't even touch it because this leak is from Kang, who is a source with 98%. You heard me right, 98% in terms of accuracy that's absolutely insane, and that means he is, by far, the most credible Apple leaker on this planet. So yes, this is highly credible information. And essentially, the translation of his original leak plays out like this. He says, the iPad, which is equipped with a small, full-screen display, has just passed the P2 stage, and even the EVT stage has not yet arrived. Now one big humongous disclaimer first, this is a translation which of course means that a lot of things could be lost in translation and that begins with the fact he just says iPad, he doesn't say iPad mini specifically and so is he referring to the budget iPad instead? Well, of course, I can't be completely sure, but the fact he says small and says full screen display leads me to believe it's the mini because we know a ton of information about the iPad 9, which of course I've delved into in previous videos. You can check out in the iCard above, but essentially the iPad 9 should just be a rehashed iPad Air 3, so no smaller body and definitely no full screen display for the budget iPad in 2021. And since we know the iPad Air isn't getting a refresh this year and the iPad Pro is pretty much ready for release later this month, we can be for sure that Kang is referring to the iPad Mini 6. Now, of course, a lot of you might be wondering what exactly does the P2 and EVT stage mean? Well, essentially, Apple has seven stages in the production of a product, and essentially, P2 is the design stage. So what that means for us is, well, the bad news, because there are seven stages and the iPad mini is currently at the third stage, it means Apple hasn't done any internal testing or evaluation on the design, and so there are months to go before this device is production ready, and so that means there is zero chance, nil, okay, of the iPad mini 6 coming out in March. And so while I do see it releasing this year, because it's in the early stages of development, I'm pretty sure we'll see this iPad mini either at the September event alongside the budget iPad, or maybe through some press release in the second half of the year. Now yes, this will break a lot of your hearts and it's a bit weird because we have been hearing about an iPad mini in March for some time, but I think it's because Apple has kind of had an internal conflict when it comes to the iPad mini 6. Because if you've been keeping up with my iPad mini videos in the past, you might remember that I mentioned there were some rumors stating the iPad mini 6 might not get a redesign and instead will have a minor refresh with a slightly larger display and better internals. Now, of course, I am glad that Apple has seemingly changed their mind and is actually giving us a redesign because we haven't had a redesign to the iPad mini lineup ever. You know, we've had the same design since 2012. And so, yes, we're very much due for a redesign. But at the same time, I can see why Apple was thinking of maybe just keeping the design the same because the iPad mini isn't a huge seller for them. You know, they don't sell a lot of iPad minis compared to the rest of the range. 
and of course, Apple spending R&D and costs into a product that barely sells doesn't make a lot of financial sense. And so, yes, I can see Apple having this internal conflict of sorts as to what they could do with the next iPad mini. Now, of course, if this leak is true, it does seem like Apple's gone ahead with the redesign. And I guess it makes sense because historically, the iPad mini has been a smaller iPad Air. And so since the Air got the redesign last year, it only makes sense that Apple follows suit with the iPad mini. But there is a tidbit I noticed from a Korean source that essentially says this will be the iPad Pro mini instead of the iPad mini 6. Now, actually, some people in the comments did suggest this a while back, but maybe Apple's thinking of splitting the iPad mini lineup and giving us a Pro redesign as, of course, the Pro mini, and then, of course, a minor refresh for those who want the smaller form factor without, of course, the higher price. And that's the main thing to remember. The price is going up with this redesign. We saw that happen with the iPad Air. And so, yes, I'm pretty sure the new price of the Mini will be 499 instead of today's price, which is 399 And so, of course, some people might not like the redesign, especially since I heard some people in certain professions, like delivery men, for example, like having a physical home button while using the iPad on the go, not to mention, of course, some might not be able to digest the higher price tag. And so, yeah, maybe a cheaper iPad mini alongside an iPad Pro mini could somewhat work. Though, of course, it's just a mere theory at the end of the day. And so, yeah, I do think ultimately it's pretty unlikely. Anyways, enough of my theorizing, we have one more thing to delve into, and that is the screen size of this redesigned iPad mini, and that is an 8.7 inch display instead of the 8.5 inch display we've heard in other reports. Now, we actually have a schematic of this design, and it looks a little odd to me because they've made it shorter and a lot wider, and I'm not too sure how comfortable that will be in one hand. If anything, they should have kept the size of this iPad mini the same and just expanded on the display. But the fact they've made it wider, considerably wider actually, is kind of weird. But anyways, tell me in the comments below, would you pay a higher price for this iPad mini redesign or not? And on that note, I'll end it here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Be a part of the Butterfication Squad. Check out the video in the icon above about the iPhone 13 and some pretty interesting tidbits regarding that. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.